back to one of the uploads guys today is Sunday May 24th we are right before Memorial Day it is the weekend man and our good friends Lance and Stephanie have invited us out onto their wake boat today we might have a little bit of fun doing some surfing we might have a little fun doing some wakeboarding we might cast a line out at some point today who knows you know it is gonna be a fun one though so let's go ahead and meet up with them guys get ready for an action-packed day Chef Steph, what do we got working here? Got some eggs Ooh. for some breakfast tacos. Oh my goodness, look a little. We got a little pepper. So look at that bacon. Look at them tortillas, man. Breakfast tacos before we hit the water. Woo, storms are imminent though. Let me take you guys outside and show you what we're working with. Yeah, so it's real calm out right now, but at like 1 o'clock, it's 9 in the morning, it's talking about a little bit of uh, thunderstorm, so we might have to just dip off the water. But uh, yeah, look at it, man. So peaceful at the moment. So we're just having ourselves a little breakfast. We're going to get out on the water and have a bunch of fun. Here's the rig. She barely fits in the cover. <laughs> oh, Flippy's matching the seats. All right, y'all, we are loading up. Let me introduce you to the crew who is so gracious to take Devin and I out today on Memorial Weekend, man. Lance and Stephanie and our good friend Kelly, we, all used, uh, we actually all used to do CrossFit together, met at our box, and uh, it's come to this, taking us out for some ski sessions. So Lance right here, what's going on? What's up? Kelly. Hey. Steph. Hello. <laughs> we're about to go get it. Devin is driving separate because we're going to park our truck as close as we can to the lake. The thing is, all the parks are absolutely packed today. Probably can't even get in if you pay full price for one of these passes. I don't even know if there's any left, man. So we'll see what happens. But we're going to try and get the Tundra right there. We're going to pick her up at the ramp. I got to get some shots of this boat dropping in, man, because it's ridiculous. This is the X24 that y'all picked up. At, like, how long ago? How, Last year. Last, Last year. year. Or you had the X23 before this? Yes. Step up, man. We'll tell you more about it later today. Let's get to the ramp. Y'all, we just launched. We're going to pick up Devin from the other ramp. Let's go ahead and get to today's festivities, man. I'm going to take this hoodie off. It's a little warmer than I thought it was. It's 74 right now, but not too much of a breeze. I guess that storm is just chilling. I guess the lake is way up, man. The fishermen, they're like in water. The dock is like underwater right now. That's funny. Picking up Steve, and we're going to be on our way, man. Yep. Uh, who's surfing first? Not me. Not you? Steve says he's ready. Steve says he's ready. <laughs> so here's the deal, guys. The water temp's 74, which for bass fishing, that's pretty warm. But I think for us, it's a little chilly, man. So we're, we're trying to... Uh, Convince. We're, we're kind of arguing over <laughs> who's going to get in the water possibly first. Possibly some liquid courage. I'm I don't know. For just the rod and <laughs> yeah. For the next... It will not be me for the next week or two. Oh, I mean, next week or two. That's not today. Come on, Weston. You're too well, white claws in. You it's can claw know. time. I'm not too white claws in. I'm, <laughs> this is half a white claw. Well, you need to down. Uh, you need to chug it. All right. Looks like I'm getting in the water first. Not cold at all. Oh, dude, it is really cold. I'm going. I'm going. Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> I am sore from those front squats. Holy CrossFit! Gotta grab the weight. That makes that's the difference right there. Got it now. We'll see what happens. Oh. Devin. Man, we got the 360. Holy smokes. Who's next? It's you. Ah! I guess I'm next. <laughs> You're up. Okay, how do I get up again? Lance just jumped in, man. Let's go.
What's up, y'all? Yo, Paul and Nicole and the homies joining in, man. You guys been surfing? Okay. So Lance and Stephanie have known Paul and Nicole for a while. We originally met everybody here at the CrossFit gym. Sounds like they're about to get to wakeboard. And we might do some surfing here in just a minute, but uh, chilling back here in the cove, having some fun. Where's your boat at? You bought a fishing boat, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you know, who trims the motor up? Then two days ago, we had another deal. Transom support bar. We had that wrapped around the prop, metal, rubber, the whole deal. It was somebody else's. I thought it was mine. I was like, dang, I screwed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure it won't be the last thing we screw up. All right, let's see some action. Yeah, get it. Devin's trying to get this 360. She's so close. Second round of surfing, man. You got it. Don't look All right, all right. Steph's going in against her will. <laughs> it's your time. You know how to do this, right? <laughs> All right, man, I'm gonna try and get out a second time. Lance has got me pumped up on some, what's his name? Austin King? Austin King. Austin King. We're gonna have to link this guy down in the video description, man. He's got like 700,000 followers on some surfing stuff. This is nuts. <laughs> Anyways, apparently you can do shove-its on this thing, like a 360 shove-it, I'm gonna give it a try. I have a feeling I'm gonna hit my shins and it's gonna hurt, but we'll see what happens, man. Alright man, round two was a major success. That was so much fun. Putting up the bimini top, the storms are rolling in, man. We saw a little strike over there. We gotta get off the water before it gets a little too rough. Things have gotten intense on these guys before. They've been stuck out in a hailstorm? Jeez. But one amazing day, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hoodie back on. I'm a little chilly after that session. What's crazy is that one run was almost perfect, man. I got a little couple seconds on the one foot, then I did a 360, got lucky, came back inside the wagon, almost got that 360 shove it. Completely nuts. <laughs> gotta thank Lance and Stephanie for taking us out, man. We'll do a little recap here in just a second. All right, man, we just got off the boat. Lance, Stephanie, and Kelly, they're heading out, man. And then uh, Devin and I, we're over here at that other ramp, so we'll catch you guys back at the house. Holler at you in a second. Just missed the storms. Woo! What up, y'all? It is hours later, and I brought the little GoPro out for a little fishing session, man. Devin is cooking some dinner. It's now 7:48. Sun is already kind of going down, but and I brought a uh, frog and a lunker log out here to a pond that uh, we've hit plenty of times before. I don't know if I've ever thrown a topwater frog at this spot though, which is going to be fun and interesting because if they'll hit topwater here, it's like very clear water. Usually, it's a little feisty fish, and uh, it could be very good. I have hit buzzbait fish over here but no frog yet so let's go ahead and get this thing parked see if we can't hop out and get a few fish before sunset slash dinner all right so the Senko is my last resort I'd rather catch fish on a frog so let me put this new $30 Sienna in the bag toss that on my back and see if we can't catch some froggy fish and clear water I hear you want a white belly stained water black belly chartreuse and certain times but I don't know all of them so I'm not gonna say and that's about all I know there he is he's got it there we go first one of the night on the Sanko come on up here they'll hit the worm man well thank you for that some fun out on the boat and some fish you're just the first one but I think we can get a couple more right over here off this little grass patch thank you for hitting on the lunker log adios amigo there he is. All right, what do we got? There we go. 
Senko out there in the middle. Come on up, son. Yeah. Slight improvement in size. From my experience, this pond's got bass that are just a tad bit bigger. I've caught some top water threes out of this one. Very warm, holy cow. Like the water in here must be just super hot. Super hot fire. All right then, we shall see ya. He was out there in the middle. It's 71 degrees outside. This water feels like a hot tub. Well, two's good enough for me, man. What an awesome day. Surfing, fishing, I'll tell you what. Put these in here, I'll see you guys in a second. What's up y'all, next day, Devin and I actually snapped a rod in today's video, so uh, be looking out for that. You'll probably see that tomorrow. And uh, I'm filming on the iPhone because the big camera is, yeah, it's charging. And anyways, I'm up late filming, so, well, editing. I'm delusional is what I am. Anyways, we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video, man. I'm just trying to get these one-a-days done for you guys. We'll see you then. <gasps>